I truly can't believe that it has been already two months since I switched my main PC over from Windows to Linux. A lot has happened since then, so let's talk about it. Alright, so where do we start off? Fedora 36, my new favorite Linux distribution of choice when it comes down to desktop use. By the way, we're talking about the beta right now, since it hasn't released yet, but man! Does it look promising? We have GNOME 42, which comes with a ton of improvements over older versions, like system-wide dark mode, a new screenshot tool, a new Libadvita theme with GDK4 integration, and NVIDIA GPUs now use Wayland as a default desktop session. Fedora 36, at least of right now, is the distribution I would recommend to any new Linux user, simply because it just conquers all of the requirements. It is easy to install by utilizing a very clean and simple installation wizard. It comes with GNOME 42 by default, which is a very solid desktop environment on its own. And it also asks you right away if you want to enable third-party repositories, which include proprietary drivers and such. By the way, if you don't like GNOME at all, and you want to install a different desktop environment, then you might want to check out Fedora Spins, where you can choose a different DE as the default. If you are interested what else Fedora offers, then you might want to check out this video right here. The link is down below in the description. Alright, let's move on to another topic. Gaming. To answer the question right away, do I still use Windows for gaming? The answer is yes. However, this only holds true for some games. That being Valorant, CSGO Face It and also some Xbox Game Pass games like Halo. Yeah, sure. The Master Chief Collection is on Steam, but the Xbox Game Pass is for me the best and even the cheapest option to play AAA titles. I mean, it literally costs as much as two AAA titles in one year, while also offering a ton of more games to explore. But as for the rest of my games, I play them all on Linux. That also includes the Ubisoft Connect version of Far Cry 5 and New Dawn, which I run through Steam's Proton layer. Now, you might be wondering why I don't use Lutris or Bottles. One simple answer, I've had issues with it in the past. One month ago I installed Ubisoft Connect with Lutris and it worked just fine. However, even though Far Cry 5 launched like normal, as soon as you got into the open world or the benchmark, the FPS dropped down into the 20s. And I have no idea why. Turns out it was just a bug with the Lutris release, but I went to Steam right away, because I didn't want to do any tinkering or something like that. And this actually comes with an advantage as well. Steam's Proton is tested more carefully, and you don't have to worry about some update breaking your games. Do I recommend this method though? Well, now that Lutris works just fine, I don't think I would. However, if you have any problems with it, just go for it. It is a very easy alternative that just won't break. The biggest disadvantage of using Steam, of course, is the lack of an easy default control interface, which you might need to use for some games. And what can I say? Except the performance is really good, often better than Windows even. As for problems, I didn't really have any this month. The only things worth mentioning right now are that I'm running Fedora in an Xorg session currently, because OBS just doesn't support Wayland yet, even though it technically supports Pipewire, but it just shows a blank screen and, well, let's be honest, that ain't good. And the second problem was a weird one, and it's about DaVinci Resolve. Back when I installed Manjaro, it just didn't launch, and I didn't feel compelled to investigate this any further, because I already knew that I was going back to Debian. And the same thing now happened on Fedora. After a bit of research, it turns out that there were some NVIDIA packages missing, and I don't exactly know why. It's really easy to fix, you can just download them manually. But what I don't get is, why doesn't this occur on Debian? Currently I'm on the latest NVIDIA driver, 510.60.02, downloaded from the Fedora repo. But for testing purposes I also tried to install it from the website, like I did on Debian. And the same thing happened. So why does Debian install all of the tools and Fedora and Mancharo don't? <laughs> it's a funny world we live in. Alright, let's finish this video off by talking about some of the awesome things I've planned for the next couple of weeks. I want to take a closer look at some open source browsers and even compare them to some proprietary ones. And I'm going to need your help. 
please let me know what process you use personally and also let me know why you use them. We are going to take a look at loading speeds of several different websites, the UI design choices, as well as some special features. I'm also planning to get back into YouTube Shorts, so keep an eye out for them. I'm purposefully not publishing them in the subscriber feed so that they don't annoy you. But if you see them on my channel, then definitely make sure to click on them. There will be some awesome stuff in there, trust me. And that being said, I think that's all for this month. So as always, make sure to leave a like and even sub if you didn't already. If you like this video, then you are certainly going to enjoy one of these. So go ahead, pick one. Otherwise, all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.